Well, this is the behind the scenes of Little Ninja Assassins with me, a G299. And if you know me, you know that I'm a developer. And um, if you are my fan, thank you for that. And if you hate me, I'm okay with that as well. But anyway, um, disclaimer, Little Ninja Assassins were actually me trying to create a game that is uh, similar to Three Ninjas. Because as a kid, I was um, a fan of them. You know, a fan of those kind of movies. Like, I also watched Kung Fu Kids. So, Kung Fu Kids was also that. So, I decided to create a similar type of game as I, as you have uh, heard me say before, but I'll repeat it anyway. Um, originally, I had the idea that they would have, of course, stories. Like, that's, that's kind of me. Um... But originally, I wanted to make a comedic type of game, like Family Guy comedic, of course, almost. <laughs> and um, I I've tried doing it uh, one time, and as you remember, they did not. The game did not <laughs> give a good impression. But hey, <laughs> never hurts to try, and. Um, Subconsciously, if you notice, um, the main characters wear kind of similar outfits because, uh, you know, Rocky and he just get a green outfit uh, called the blue one and Kampan has um, the orange one. So that was, I guess, a subconscious thing for me. Um, At first, I w was gonna have them have a grandfather as well, but I decided to make it just a father because I figured that would be kind of a lot more interesting. Originally, in the first game, um, the main character, the main villain character, Ulan, he had a gun. He was supposed to, but that was actually. But everything else was sort of um, left to that one for the remake. And the series is actually episodic, so. But I decided not to call the games episodes, so. A few, uh, a few games is gonna be volume one. So, there is that, and the reason that, um, this is kind of a, not much of a spoiler, but don't take me the wrong way if I, if I say this, um, back in the day, I mean, not back in the day, but it just happens, uh, like recently, a year ago. I had been into the asylum for, I had a sleeping problem, so uh, the only good thing about it was food. And that's, that was the reference to that. That's why Giles says, in a, halfway through the game, he says that the only thing good, good was food there. Because that's, that's the only thing that was good there for me. And, um, I, I, don't know that I could find, I'd say that the remade first episode still has prob doesn't have problems. But it is quite successful in its own right. It's a lot better than the, the original one. That's why I deleted the original. Um, and... Um, I also... We'll give uh, Giles something more disturbing to fight with in the next game. But I'm not going to tell you what it is because it's kind of... I don't want to spoil too much. And, and I haven't really gotten into Elan's backstory. I'm 
Get it in one of the other games. This game was like the first game to have the safe feature. So I'm kinda of proud of that. And I'm really towards the other games to get out heavy yeah uh, the other thing is um it's never revealed where the little ninja assassins live it's i know it is japan but it's in a place called let's see what is it called it, it is in a place uh where the ninjutsu was first discovered. And I wish I remembered the name, so. I've designed um, the ninja assassins as not kind of having themselves uh, not kind of having a goal for for living, just h helping people, and that is that is I think uh, one of the most fascinating things about them is that, that they don't have uh, a goal they want to achieve in life. So that's why they they are trying to uh, They are trying to find the reason for living, and that's kind of the most fascinating things about them. As as uh, I've heard that you know, whenever you write in a story with uh, similar setups, you're gonna run into some tropes that everyone follows, and I and I'm not really kind of so much of a fan of that, and that's why I decided to make them little ninja assassins, uh, kind of. Uh, not necessarily too different, but I decided to uh, make them uh, a lot different so that they wouldn't just feel a, like a Twin Ninjas ripoff. So that's why um, I had to make the antagonist a demon. And and I had to cram, a, cram in uh, lower detail to uh, justify how he was going to get killed but th that wasn't that wasn't too f too uh, great of an explanation but it worked whatever um if you play the game as much as i have you know there's a cool little uh well not cool but maybe a rip off maybe i'll get a in trouble for doing that there's a cool little easter egg if you look at the cutscene where our heroes uh try to reason with elon who they think it's they hear and uh and see their father's wo the father's voice but it, it is elon uh, but when they talk about how it's it's when when Elon says it's a wrong type of beer that he wants, you can look and see um, a Twin Ninjas copy stuck on their shelf. <laughs> they actually, because actually, they the Twin Ninjas are their idols, kind of. There's a situation where after you, after you beat. The second level where Jetri sarcastically says, um, even though we didn't kill the guys, the situation was kill or be killed. So that actually is a ninja, is and was a ninja model for uh, a while and it still is, which is, I thought I was kind of clever for including that, but... The... Art style, I kind of also enjoyed. And also, um, 
Elon's voice is actually based on um, a character from Batman, the Telltale series. The guy named the P Penguin. That, that's that's what his name. That was his. That that was the idea for his voice direction. So it took me, I think, uh, the the original game took me about three years to kind of start and finish. I always this guy. I'm this kind of a guy that um, whenever he finishes a game, whenever he starts a game, he tries to finish it. Otherwise, it's gonna bother me. So that's that for me. If you disagree, well, that's you. Well, I hope you wouldn't. Um, I believe it, the place that the ninjutsu f f was first uh, um, I'm not gonna make uh, too much of wild guesses but don't quote me on that I think it was called Tagana or Na Nagiana or Agiana something like that but, um, and also the reason why, uh, uh, you might be asking, well, how did they, how did the, the beer store sold, sold them the beer because, you know, they were kids. Well, that was all Elon's doing. And if you notice, uh, like if you, if you get to the flashback section, uh, where the 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 zero uh, the father is testing them, you notice that the voice is kind of it was kind of different, and you also notice that uh, the that the guy who pulls them over the beer, his voice is also kind of a jumbled up and robotic. But that's because uh, I'm having a lot of trouble finding voice actors, so I just thought, you know what. That was a, that was kind of a small role to fit, so I'll just, I'll just have uh, talk text-to-speech boxes. I did the same thing with uh, Roxia from Rare Wars, but is there anything else I want to say? Oh, yeah. I'm actually uh, already in the process of writing the second game. But you know, it always takes me quite a while to work everything out and write it. I'm actually not myself, myself, not a fan of writing scripts because you know, I find it that kind of a lot of voice actors complain because they don't like the scripts and then they don't help. <laughs> so I used to, what I used to do is just try it out the character's name and then their lines. So maybe. Maybe later down the road I'll do that, but again, but yeah. In a, in the next game, I promise that uh, our heroes will have more move sets, so it's a lot. It's gonna be probably somewhat longer than this one, or maybe not. But I try to make it. I'll try to make it a lot uh, more engaging than, the, than this one. But this is only a starting point, so. I don't even know. I'll find it. I find it hard to actually finish this, the, the story of these characters because they are so like they are unusual. But overall, I think I've beaten the game like five times now, and then I just. Don't know what I would, would have done. Maybe I haven't finished it once if I didn't get the save fe feature. <laughs> Actually, uh, back in, when I was making the original game, there was a joke uh, where someone helped me and <laughs> the, the guy, the character turned out to be an old man in a hat with 
a black belt on on his pants. <laughs> that was kind of fun, but I'm also not kind of a guy who likes to say that something never happened, but I'm glad I I said that for the original game that it never happened. Um, it also had um uh, these of a few a few characters that someone recorded for me a while back and I I was gonna use them in that but I'll use them in a different game. But as far as uh, Little Ninja Assassins I am you know but personally I I love how the game turned out. I, and you might have your opinion, but that doesn't mean, you know, no one judge a book by its cover. Give it a chance. That's all I ask for. Thank you.